All gamers have felt the enormity of this moment at some point in their gaming experience. A moment we were anticipating throughout the game, but now it's finally here. The anxious feeling that we get in the pit of our stomachs, similar to reaching the apex point of a roller coaster. Just four drops. The moment when the game lets us know we've reached that event horizon in our gaming experience and we're about to pass the point of no return. So when the game suddenly interrupts us and tells us time to insert disc two, <laughs> or politely but firmly says, would you like to save your game before proceeding? That's when you know something irreversibly big is about to happen. And as this new path opens up in front of us, we also become fiercely aware that the road behind us is about to be closed with the finality of entering the Omega 4 relay in Mass Effect 2. We may not know exactly where we're going, but we know this with finality. There is no turning back from here. And that brings some very complicated emotions to the forefront. Are we prepared to move forward knowing that our status quo is about to be shifted forever? Or do we linger at the threshold of this inescapable choice in an ultimately pointless attempt to delay the inevitable? I'm sweating just talking about it because I know I've been there so many times <laughs> in a game. <laughs> you know, crossroads in our video games bring us to places that force us out of our comfort zones mm -hmm. and keep the story progressing towards an outcome that was already built into the game. Regardless of the choices we've made, some of our favorite characters are destined to be removed from the story. Some doors will be open that we must walk through. Other doors will be closed permanently. While we may have the luxury of choosing between a few different paths to get to this place in our game, all these roads eventually lead to the same spot, the Valley of Decision. Recognizing the enormity of this moment can be a paralyzing feeling. Not necessarily because we're afraid of making the wrong decision, but we recognize that no matter what happens next, nothing will ever be the same again. In life, we experience many of these seismic paradigm shift moments, and if I'm being honest, I typically struggle with my emotions when I realize I'm approaching a you know disc change in my life. I'm not proud to admit that, but I do. Um, even if it is a change I wanted, maybe even prayed for, and have been anticipating, it can still be frightening to actually put one foot in front of the other and begin walking down that path. Perhaps you are at a similar place mm -hmm. of decision in your life. Maybe the Lord has placed a calling on your life, but walking towards it will mean you have to leave your current comfort zone behind, maybe never return. You have given, you know, been given a God-given direction. You've started to walk down that, but now you're beginning to have second thoughts as the full impact of your decision becomes real. For many of us, it's not the challenges that lie in front of us that restrict our progress. It is those things in our lives that we have to be willing to permanently walk away from that prevent us from moving forward. It doesn't necessarily mean that those things were bad or even unhealthy. There is actually a very good chance that those were part of the Lord's plan and provision for us as well. But that doesn't always mean that they get to come with us as we insert the next disc and press start on the next chapter of our lives. I pray this encourages you today. The next step in our journey is inevitable mm -hmm. and unavoidable. In the end, we don't get to choose when or how the game presses us forward. We simply make the choice to be willing to make that jump without looking back. When we allow our nervousness, our fear, maybe our nostalgia to control our emotions and make our decisions for us, we will also become salty like, you know, Lot's wife. <laughs> see what you did there. <laughs> Life is full of seasons and eventually all good things come to an end, unfortunately. Um, but that is because he has more good things in store for us and new seasons of life for us to experience. So let's be thankful for the path that lies behind us, moving while moving confidently towards what the Lord has placed before us. So for all my old school gamers, go ahead and please insert disc two now. We'll see you on the other side.